I fucking love this thing. One of the best 90s cars ever made. But well, let's go check out the truck. So, since I've bought this, I've had it for almost a month. Not really, it's like two and a half weeks. This side, wheel sits in there real square. No camber, nothing. I'm gonna set y'all down for a sec. So you can see it. Wheel is straight. We're gonna measure fender to tire. Let's go right there. All right, so that gives us roughly four inches. That's what I get it too. Come over here. Uh, two and a quarter. Well, that's weird. Why is it two inches closer here, huh? And why does it rub completely stock with a stock wheel and tire every single time I drive? And then, just notice, why does it have a little bit of camber? And it's pushed in a little bit. This one, real flush with the outside of the car. But this one, inside the wheel, or inside the fender of the car. Weird. So when I did the light bar, we noticed these bolts on this fender have been taken off before. And then let's take a look at this gap. Look how close that gap is and how far it is up there. Let's look at this gap. Relatively square all the way back, but it looks like it's pushed that way, just a touch in the back. This car, truck, has been in four accidents. They didn't tell me about it. When we went and looked at the truck, I asked if it had any accidents because I noticed the bumper sitting a little funky. See in the middle, it's pushed in there. This side on the bottom is broken. I don't remember him saying there was an accident. I look at the Carfax, because I'm wondering why that side rubbed so much. And they hit a concrete barrier and the truck had to be towed to a shop. A concrete barrier. And you're telling me the frame is straight on this? So that's what we're getting into today. I need to get in there and fix the light bar, but if this side of the frame isn't straight, which I don't believe it is, then we have an issue. Especially because the dealer didn't disclose that information to me. So yeah, we're gonna get this pulled into the shop. It really sucks that this is a situation too, because I have this fucking sick ass lift kit sitting here and I was gonna go pick up tires tonight. So basically after looking around, I can't really see much because I don't know what I'm looking for. But for sure, this side is up. I don't know how much, but I put a level on all the other fucking cross mounts. So I don't know what the fuck you want to call them. But I put a level on here, here, the fucking exhaust here and here. Everything is basically level except for this. I can see it standing here. It's pushed up right here. This whole side is pushed up. So I don't know if that's the frames bent somewhere or... The ear got pushed in whenever the person hit the fucking concrete wall. They just tripped on the fucking nothing for 10 minutes. Yeah, so I don't know. I don't know. But we're going to put it back together and get it back on the ground. And go to the dealer later today. Basically, I didn't record any of this because I didn't want to like record the dealership and shit. And I'm not trying to say anything bad about them or anything. But... Over the time of me owning the vehicle, I noticed weird things about it. I wasn't sure if it was just me or because it's a new truck. I just wasn't sure. So after my suspicions and eyeballing things, I decided to get a hold of my buddy who does Carfax 
Shout out to you, Nick. Thank you. Carfax my truck and found out that it had four accidents. Now, when we bought the truck, they told us there was one and they showed us proof that there was only one. So that was either forged or they don't use Carfax and they use something else because I, I, I paid for something else and it doesn't show up. Carfax is the only one it showed up on. So that being said, we went to the dealership last Friday. No. Two Fridays ago, because this would be the second week. So we went to the dealership that Friday night and went in and told everyone we want to talk to the GM. We don't want to talk to anyone. I want to talk to the GM and that's it. Emily handled it really well. I didn't want to be an asshole, so I was just trying not to talk very much because I was extremely irritated. So we tell them what's going on and what we found and the issues with it, especially because that truck was literally just going to be a placeholder to get me through a year or two, probably more like 13 months because I didn't like the truck. I mean, I liked it, but it wasn't what I wanted. This truck that we're in, this is what I wanted to an extent. So we went in and went, this is what we found. What the fuck? And they were like, uh, and I was like, yeah. So what are we going to do about this? Because the whole point of me buying this truck was to fix my credit because me and my ex had fucked my credit up and I've since then fixed it, but there's still derogatory marks on there. And so this was going to be like the final thing to fix it, fix it. So me trading it in was a big deal and I was going to get a diesel truck in a year or two. And the trade-in value of that truck, based on everything I found, was like $28,000 because of the accidents. And my loan was forty one. So there was zero chance I would ever get up from underneath of that truck. So, so we end up telling them all that. And they were like, uh, well, all of the mechanics are out because it was like 8 o'clock bring it back Saturday morning and we'll figure out what we can do. We're bringing it back Saturday morning. They put it on the lift. Thankfully her, Emily's dad works there and has worked there for a long time. So me and him went underneath it and I showed him what I found and then they found even more stuff. So then they were like, let's put it on the alignment rack. This alignment, whoever did the alignment, did... bravo dude. The truck drove fucking straight, but on the rack, looking at everything, the front right control arms were set to be cambered all the way in and rotated all the way forward as far as they would go. And the wheel sat pretty much straight. It had like a, a degree and a half of camber. And then the driver front wheel had all of the adjustments to be positive out as far as it would go. And I think that was it for that one. But it sat completely straight up and down. The rear axle had been turned, the right side of it pushed forward a quarter of an inch and down, I think they said. I can't remember, but it it was a lot. And they were all impressed that it drove straight. And I was like, that's what I said. Like, it drives really straight for it being fucking looking like this. So the GM comes out and looks at it and they explain it all. And he said, let's get you in a new truck. And I was like, okay. But at that point, I'm extremely skeptical. I'm like, this dealership's trying to fuck me over. I'm getting fucked. Like, I don't want to do business here. But they made it right. And they upgraded me quite a bit. And this truck, I'm paying $2,000 more than I was for the Silverado. And this is a 2018 GMC Denali. With pretty much every option. It doesn't have a sunroof. I think that's the only thing it's missing. And, uh... I'm happy with how it came out, definitely. Especially because my loan payment is like barely any more than it was. Uh, it still has all the warranties like it should. It sucks that I do have to return that lift kit, but the new lift kit's gonna be here next week. So, be more truck content next week, putting on the lift kit and everything, and then putting tires on, because I have tires for these wheels. But, this is it. It's a beautiful truck. I really like it. I'm a lot happier with this truck. 
I wasn't happy with the Silverado. It was like, this is better than the Tahoe. And the Tahoe and that combined were better than the Duramax because the Duramax needed a lot of fucking work and it wasn't comfortable and it drove like shit. Dude, this thing drives like a fucking Cadillac. And it's got the 6.2 and I didn't think there'd be that big of a difference in power. Dude, this thing's like first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear burnouts sideways. Came with a posse. But this truck is by far a nicer truck. You can see it's got wood grain, black leather. The only thing I don't like is this bronze on all of the trim. I guess it kind of ties it together. It's not so like in your face because the silver auto was all silver. We got heated and cooled or heated and AC seats. And then it's got a heated steering wheel. It's got all of the lane assist option shit. Hill descent. It's it's a nice truck. Pretty happy with it. But thank you guys for checking out this video. Have a good night.